Kaysar! Burika im Basar! Ala Burika, Burika, Burika! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go to the Carmel Market in Tel Aviv. The largest market in Tel Aviv. It's colorful, it's vibrant, many food stalls and groceries. Let's check it out. Guys, I'm about to enter the Carmel Market, which is on the Carmel Street, the main bit of it. I'm entering from the southern entrance, where, is, where Daniel Street and Kalish Street are meeting. There are already some shops outside the market, surrounding it. Let's go in. As soon as you go in, all the colors and stalls start. Fruits, nuts, some souvenirs and beets, grocery shop, sweets. Some fresh juices as well. And other sweet shops. A part of the food stalls, there are many eateries places along the way that most of them probably open closer to lunchtime. But fruit and veg you have plenty of. Everything is fresh. Some essential shop gift wrap, many more things, cheese place, as you can see the eatery place, you see how they lay down the chopped eggplant with salt before they're gonna deep fry them, they make a schnitzel and pita bread and this place does the same because they're gonna deep fry the eggplant so I need to put the salt before, there are many sweets Middle Eastern sweets and other sweets. So many smells and colors. I sell here many kinds of tahini, obviously olives and pickles. So many. On top of it, you can find many clothes shops as well with cheap clothes, and good prices, you can bargain. Many, many things cutlery, plates, bowls, essentials, many, many things. Jewelry shops. More nuts and beets and spices, so many colors. And the smell is absolutely gorgeous. They even made a small skincare place, pharmacy, even. More jewelries and souvenirs. As you go along the main street, the Carmel Market, you can go to side alleys that have some restaurants and city places to sit and have a drink and food. And the Carmel just Market just keep on going. More and more and more things. So you cannot have the market without a few bakeries for bread, pita breads, and special breads, and many more. Guys, I think I'm gonna stop and eat in one of the food stalls, and when you can see such crowd around the food stall, you know there's something good there. 
I'm gonna hit here Haburika in the Kamer market in Tel Aviv. I heard about it, some sort of a deep fried folded pita. Um, and then he puts it inside the pita bread and it's supposed to be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try it out. Let's see what's gonna happen. Haburika Carmel Market. Haburika Carmel Market. Uh, and we're making two different things. This is like Moroccan donuts. It's sweet. It's called spinach. Three pizzas, ten shekels, not for now, maybe for dessert. But what I make usually is the burika. Burika is traditional food from Tripoli, Libya. It's a thin worker pastry. This pastry is my grandma makes. It's handmade. And I feel inside your choice of potatoes, egg, lamb. All together. Stand for speed, guys. After the fry, all this I put in a pita bread. One fry to be crispy and the yellow in the egg is running. Little bit spice of cabbage, tomato. This is the best pita. Yeah, I'll definitely have those. Yala. Yeah, this food stall, the burrika, is in the Carmel market. I heard about it before, and when I came across it, I said I gotta try it out. And we have here our useful friend. What's your name, mate? What's your name, Achim? Hashem Shcha. This is Kobe from the Burika place. Explain to you in any language. You want it Mandarin, Arabic, Hebrew, English. He's multi talent. Burika, Burika, Burika. You do mistake if you didn't take. Shalos, teams, Esther. This is my Burika. Uh, I had it with potato, egg, and uh, minced lamb, minced lamb meat. And now I put the pumpkin sauce, it's more juicy. Pumpkin sauce, okay. Spicy? Yes, of course. And this goes inside the pita bread. And you mash it inside, oh, that's lovely. אתה שם גם טחינה או משהו כזה, או איך זה עובד? וואלה טחינה, קלעתי בול. אז הוא שם טחיני על טופ, אז הוא לא יהיה טחיני. ואני אראה את זה. עכשיו אני אספיק את זה עבורך. אתה עושה מה? אה, כן, אספיק את זה, כן. עכשיו אני אראה לך את זה. חברים, תראו. מינס, לאמב מיד, פוטטו, ואג בצד, קצת סלדס וטחיני. Thank you very much, Kobe from the Burika. I'm gonna try it. Let's take a closer read of the Burika. Again, it's minced lamb meat I, I took with potato and egg, and it put on top of it some fresh chopped vegetable salad and some tahini and some hot spices. I gotta try it out. Oh man, this Burika is gorgeous. This deep fried burrica inside the pita, such a clever combination. And the spice sets sit you well, and you can see all the colors, and it smells so, so lovely. Mm, I love it. You can have one also without meat, just with uh, potato and uh, egg. I took one with meat, with uh, lamb beans meat. Very, very good. Mine was only 32 shekels, which is uh, just about like uh, seven, eight pounds. Very good price, very good dish, and uh, very good customer service. And uh, yeah, you heard him, very loud and very clear. You gotta come and eat.
my set I'm on my second half and it only gets better guys very very good guys I finished my burrica on the way out of the market I just came out it was, it was super delicious highly recommend that I got myself fresh lemonade on the way out of the market and that's it that's the video for the day if you like the video like share and subscribe hit the notification bell below and I'll see you in the next video guys bye